Assalamu alaikum. You are watching Mini Mutman. Generosity. Saeed and Sophia, please get some bread for lunch from the grocery. And with the remaining money, you can buy something for yourselves. Okay, okay mother. mother! We have bread for lunch now. Let's buy some chocolates with the rest of the money as Mother gave permission for that. Oh no! Look at the poor boy. He does not have a pair of shoes in the hot sun. Hey, we bought our favorite chocolates. I can't wait to eat them. Oh, the boy is still there and looking at the shop window. He must be hungry. I am feeling very sad for him. Mother, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We bought the bread and some chocolates. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullahu khairan. Okay, now wash your hands and get ready for lunch. Sophia, call your brother and take this money. Bring some cheese from the shop. Today, I will make your favorite cheesecake, inshallah. Yeah, today we will have delicious cheesecake, inshallah. We are going right now. You can buy something if you have any money left. Let's go, brother. Hurry up. No, this boy came today also to the same place. But today he is crying. He must be very needy. I should buy some food for this poor boy. I am feeling very sad for him. I don't know what my mother will think. Brother, why did you buy the sandwich instead of your favorite chocolates? Should I give it to the boy or not? I lost my chance to have some chocolates though. No, I should give this to him. Brother, this is for you. Please take it. Assalamu alaikum, mother. We bought the cheese. Alaikum assalam. Good. Please keep it in the kitchen, Sophia. Mother, from the past two days, I have been seeing this child who is very sad and sits outside the grocery store. He wears torn clothes and doesn't wear shoes. He is also very dirty. It looks like he doesn't shower. What about him, Saeed? Why do you think he doesn't wear shoes or clean clothes? Because his parents don't have money. Yes, my dear. And did you help him in any way? I did give you a little extra money. You could buy something else. Yes? I did buy him a sandwich, but then Sofika reminded me that if I get him something, I wouldn't have enough money to buy something nice for myself. Oh, Said, we should never see it that way. When we help someone or give charity, our money may seem like it's good, but in all truth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always replaces it. He subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't just replace the money, but also write a lot of good deeds for you. It usually happens that shaitan doesn't want you to do a good deed. So he makes you feel that giving someone something would make you lose the chance of having something nice for yourself. Always remember that Allah is Allah-Ghani, the self-sufficient and the wealthy. What does that mean, mother? It means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has all the riches in the heavens and the earth and that he subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need anyone or anything to help him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's wealth is so great that even if every human gets everything they ever wished for, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's wealth will never become less. If you ever feel that way, that you want to give charity, Give that charity before Shaytan has a chance to convince you not to. Along with that, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al ghani to put blessings in your wealth so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you more wealth and that you have more chances to give to the poor. You are a Muslim and a Muslim can never be at peace when another Muslim is hungry. I understand mother. Can I go back to the shop with some food? Sure thing Saeed. I will pack some food for the boy and when you give it to him, Say salam and greet him with a warm smile. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help you grow into a wonderful boy who helps people in need. Ameen.